in all three World Trophy classes, the 2019 FIM International Six Days of Enduro has provided a week-long rivalry between Australia and the USA. We know most of the riders really well. Uh, some of them, you know, have raced either in US or are still racing, so uh, we see them, you know, quite often. And, and uh, you know, it's it's one of those things that it's. Uh, I think it's just uh, it's a it's a good rivalry. You know, it's a, it's uh, you know we we still race against the clock so uh, everyone does their best and, uh, and then we'll see uh, who's on top. I think both the nations have strong series back home so all the riders push, e push each other and uh, it, that's what, what builds us up. The biggest shock of the 2019 season was provided by the Women's World Trophy as Australia were halted at the end of a run of six consecutive titles. The USA women claimed their first crown since 2007, the first of this generation. You know, I started managing the women's team in 2017. I kind of set three-year plan and, and uh, they were all new women, you know, three years ago. And now, um, you know, we have basically almost all the women returning again. Actually, the same team from last year and they are hungry, you know, they they don't, they don't like to get beat. And uh, obviously you can see they did their homework, you know, we were right away there. Uh, up you know showing that we're serious about it you know day one and uh, ever since you know we've been we've been up there and uh, not giving any any room for Australia or, or any other country. The men from down under got their revenge in the junior trophy keeping the USA in second and denying them the treble. For sure everyone's riding super well and um, yeah it's cool having a couple of other juniors sort of battling with us too. It means a lot I've never ever came close to winning a um, world championship so that means a lot for me and yeah everyone's doing an awesome job. Australia also led after the opening day in the World Trophy but the USA fought back in style to recover the crown they won for the first time in 2016. Pretty happy with coming away with the podium this week uh, for the team but uh, having a shot at the uh, number one position was, was good. Uh, with the, a lot of changes in the team this, this year, so a lot of people coming out and not selected and that, so uh, it's been a tough run for us, but uh, we've performed really well and uh, above expectations for me and with the boys, so I'm, I can't be uh, happier with them and we're looking forward to next year already. You know, we had couple, the first couple of days we had a little bit of, um, well, I wouldn't say hard time but adjusting to the couple of tests and we were, we were behind Australia there and uh, we we're maybe a little bit scratching our head like man we're we have such a consistent and, and fast team but we're not leading and uh, once we got out of the sand test uh, after day two uh, things have just started clicking with with all riders and uh, and uh, we've been ever since really leading leading the the overall two teams that only made their first impression on the roll of honor in the 1990s and now the dominant force of the enduro world with the title shared between them heading to Italy next season.